presence of the Holy Spirit here today. Praise God. I know some of you are feeling it today. Praise God. I pray that all of you are feeling the Holy Spirit today. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank um, all of you for the Lord of Douglas. Praise God for his prayer and reminding the men. Praise God to support the women. Bless the Lord. Um, one thing he said after what, when he was talking, which made me think, was when he says that the women shoulders aren't made to carry the weight. Praise God. And it made me think that sometimes we as women, because God made us the way we are, and I remember some of them were saying, because we're nurturers, praise God, we just love to just carry the weight if we have to, rather than sharing it with the men, praise God. And when he said that, praise God, it touched my heart, bless the Lord. And even when all the women, praise God, will be a singing, that touched my heart as well. And I'm praying that one day, praise God, that as Reverend Sharon said in her word, that we will come together, praise God, as unity. Bless the Lord, I really pray for that one day, not just in colour, praise God, but in, indeed, bless the Lord, praise God, that we will come together, bless the Lord, because this is what God wants. Because you know, praise God, if the enemy sees that there's a way in, praise God, to separate us, he will do that. And he will bring all kinds of excuses to stop us from coming together, praise God, and we will listen to that sometimes. And the thing is, God wants us together, bless the Lord, because when we were on the day of Pentecost, I'll always remember that. When, the, when they wanted to be filled with the Holy Spirit, they had to come together on one accord before they could be filled with the Spirit of God. Praise God. And that reminds me, praise God, when we come together in the house of God, then the Holy Spirit will come down because we must come together in unity. Bless the Lord. Praise God, the time has already far spent. Praise God, and the Holy Spirit is here. Bless the Lord, and I welcome the Holy Spirit. Praise God, I feel like um, that I just want to just worship God. Praise the Lord, and let the Holy Spirit just take control. But I know sometimes, praise God, that formality, you have to bring the word. Praise God that many of us will be supported and strengthened by the Word of God. And the topic is, praise God, where do I fit in? Praise God, when Reverend Shine asked me what the topic was, I was reading something and the word stuck out purely because a lot of women, and sometimes female, praise God, women always ask me that question, where do I fit in? And sometimes, praise God, when you begin, when you first get saved, bless the Lord, you think to yourself, where do I fit in? Praise God, we're using our church, praise God, in the church, new generation church. Where do I fit in? Where am I supposed to be in the house of God? But I'm not looking at that, praise God, about where do I fit in. All that has been spoken of previously has already illustrated that. But God has shown me something completely different to where do I fit in. The thing is about where do I fit in, it's not about where do I fit in, it's about taking the part in where you fit in, praise God. And the this, this scripture, praise God, that I want to use, bless the Lord, um, somebody mentioned it today, praise God, about the woman and the issue of blood, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Matthew 9, praise God. And behold, a woman which was deceased with an issue of blood of 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Praise God. And when I was looking at the history, praise God, not so much history of women. But where it came from, praise God, we know we blame Adam, we blame Adam and Eve. Oftentimes, sometimes you hear people talk about it so many times, 
They blame Eve for um, doing this and doing that, praise God, and cause a sin in the world, praise God. So they blame the woman, basically, praise God. <laughs> Not just Eve, it's a woman, praise God. So they blame the woman, praise God. And when I looked at that, praise God, it made me thought about the woman with the issue of blood. Now we have heard the story so many times, praise God, about the woman with the issue of blood, praise God, and how she had this issue for 12 years, praise God. The thing about it is when I began to pray about it, and then I began to see, my, see how this woman, praise God, had this issue for 12 years, praise God, and to imagine that she was a very weak woman, bless the Lord. And because of the Jewish culture, I should say, or the uh, things that happen in, in the Jewish is that when a woman, praise God, has that issue for so long, praise God, she is referred to as being contaminated or you, you're not allowed to touch her, praise God. She was put out, bless the Lord. So imagine this woman, praise God, that has been traveling for, or having this for 12 years. She is segregated from her culture, praise God. She doesn't fit in, praise God. She is segregated from her culture because of what is happening to her. And we find, praise God, that in the, the Jewish culture, praise God, that, and it says that also, praise God, in Leviticus, bless the Lord, Leviticus 15, 19, 30, it talks about when a woman, praise God, is having that issue for so, for so seven days, praise God, and you're not to touch, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that. There's a long list of it if you want to read it, praise God. But the thing about it is, imagine this woman was segregated from her peers, she wasn't, no one was allowed to touch, no one was allowed to help her, no one was allowed to go near her, purely because of what she was suffering with. So she could not fit in, basically, into that culture. Because the issue she had was something completely different to what would happen to a woman normally, it's normally seven days or less. But for her, it was 12 years, bless the Lord. So imagine this woman, praise God, has, as a way of trying to think to herself, I'm not going to sort myself out of this, praise God. So she is affected by this issue for 12 years, segregated, she's not allowed to go to church, praise God. So she's not allowed to go to church. Where is she supposed to get help from? She's not allowed to go to church. She went to the physician, the Bible said, and spent all she had. So there was nowhere she could go. Praise God. The Jewish feared contamination, praise God, by the menstrual of blood, the Leviticus 15, as I said. And because of the ritual, praise God, sometimes women who have experienced that, not even allowed to even take part in rituals, and praise God, it makes me think, bless the Lord, that women have come a long way in having to fight for their right to be heard. Now, I'm not going to say that, oh yes, women this, that and the other, but what I'm saying is that there's a history of why women always feel that they feel like, as um, someone says, praise God, feel neglected, feel insignificant, praise God, because all these rules came before from way back about women are supposed to do this, women are supposed to, if they are having the issue. Praise God. So you're telling me that sometimes, praise God, in the house of God, that would mean to me that the only the older women, praise God, would be taking part in the witness. Because they would have no issue, praise God, because of their you know, getting older and not experiencing that anymore. Come on, everybody, you know. Bless the Lord. So there were just older women in the church. Praise God. So imagine, praise God, that this woman, or many other women, praise God, in the house of God, cannot take part in anything. 
until that is over. Praise God. And imagine as well, it also says that if you have a child, if it says son, praise God, you are unclean for 40 days. If you have a woman child, you are unclean for 80 days. So imagine that. So sometimes you think to yourself, well, why is it that we have so much issues in church then? Do you think it's from, probably from the bloodline, praise God, that has affected a lot of the women in church? Praise God. And it makes me think and wonder that this woman, praise God, has had to face all that. We don't know what she faced, but I'm trying to make you imagine her as a woman in that Jewish time. Segregated, maybe even stoned, don't want no one to go near her, don't, nobody wants to go near her, don't want to touch her. How is she supposed to get her healing? Bless her Lord. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Bless her Lord. He came, and when she heard about him, she pushed with all her strength. Praise God. Can you imagine? She's pushing through the crowd. The crowd probably parts anyway, because it could probably smell her coming. Praise God. Because they don't want to touch her. Praise God. They said she probably pushed through the crowd, but I bet the crowd just parts and let her through because they don't want to touch her. Bless the Lord. And that's what happens sometimes, praise God. Sometimes we have to push. Praise God, to get what we want from God. Bless the Lord. And one thing I want to say to you as well, praise God, in the Middle Ages, no, it wasn't the Middle Ages, in 1986, saw changes of the law, praise God, with the women in the house of God. So we have to give God glory for that. Praise God, because there were a lot of changes, praise God, considering that women we're not allowed to do anything. You know what? And we have so much now that we can do, and yet so we don't do it. <laughs> Praise God. You know, one thing I used to say to people, right, if you don't know what to do in the house of God, come and tell me and I'll show you what he's doing. Praise God. I tell you there's a whole long list of things that needs doing. And no one can ever say they've got nothing they want to do in the house of God. Bless the Lord. There's a long list. I can give them to you if you want to. Praise God. The women have, have so much freedom now. Praise God. And they don't take it as they should. Bless the Lord. God has given you that freedom, that liberty now in the house of God to sit next to the person. One time the person. If they knew you had that issue, you could not sit with them. You weren't even allowed to go in the church to sit on the seat, because if you sat on the seat, the seat had to be cleaned, praise God, so you couldn't even sit, praise God. So much things I could go into, bless God, but because of time, I can't tell you. But so much thing that we have the liberty now, praise God, that we are not taking advantage of, praise God. And the thing about fitting in as well, praise God, is not just fitting in, it's about taking part. Bless the Lord. And I, 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 I'm using illustrations to say that it's no point you coming in church and looking around and think, that group looks good, I'll try and fit into that one. That group looks good, I'll look into, try and fit into that one. That group, Samuel group, I have to say Samuel because I'm saying other group, right? I'll get stoned. The Samuel group, you try and come in, you try and fit in. You can't just fit in, praise the Lord. You can't just want to fit in the Samuel group, praise God, or the Edinburgh's group, praise God, or the Lewis Gordon group. But there is no group. Can we break down those walls? Hallelujah. There's no groups. There should never be groups. Praise God. The only reason why you may think that there's a group is because of family. Obviously, there's a connection. There's a blood. There's a connection, but there's no group. Have you seen our family? Praise God. Have you seen it? Hallelujah. It's a big family, but more come into it. Praise God, because we don't segregate ourselves and say, you can't come into my family because you're not a family. Praise God. Have you seen it? Hallelujah. It's big. And 
and it's getting bigger, and it's getting bigger, and it's getting bigger. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So there's no groups, there's no cliques. Get rid of those words. Hallelujah. No cliques. I bind those in the name of Jesus. Praise God. No groups in the name of Jesus. Obviously, if I'm close to my mother, I'm going to be around her a lot. If I'm close to my sister, I'm going to be around her a lot. If I'm close to my brother, my blood brother, I'm going to be around her a lot. If I'm close to my children, I'm going to be around her a lot. I'm just segregating myself to them so that you can try and fit yourself in it. There's no fitting. Praise God. There's no fitting. Bless the Lord. It's about taking part in the house of God. Remove all that I'm trying to fit into sister, with Sister Bev's group. Bless the Lord. There's no group, Sister Bev. Praise the Lord. Remove that. Hallelujah. We don't want to just fit. And, and the thing about it is, praise God, sometimes we label people. Hallelujah. Remove that label. Because there's no fitting, no label, no group in the name of Jesus. Praise God. It's about taking part. I'm working together. Praise the Lord. My experience, praise God, as a little, as a girl, hallelujah, at school, just because I said to you, because I was black, praise God, at school, the black girls who want to um, play with me, I was black, they were black, they didn't want to play with me, I was black. They didn't want to play with me, you know why? Because I spoke English. Praise God, they stopped patois. They don't want to play with me. <laughs> instead of white, having white friends because the black girls don't know why they just didn't want to talk to me I didn't mind talking to them if I was born in England I'm going to talk English praise the Lord, I'm born in Jamaica so I'm going to talk Patwa bless the Lord I remember my granddaughter I was saying to her I was, it was kind of funny actually I just had to bring this in I said to her, I finny and she says to me what no no I think she goes, I think me. What's that meant? I told her it meant it's mine. So I said, if you want something, say it's me. <laughs> she's there laughing at me. She knows. Bless her. Praise God. And I want to show to you women, praise God, do not try to fit in. Praise God. Don't try to fit in, but be a part of the women. Be a part of NGC. Yeah. Praise God. Don't segregate yourself. Be a part. Be together. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. And I remember, praise God, I want to tell you this quick story. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that by the end of this story, I'm not going to say who it is, but I don't know if you can guess who it is. Bless the Lord. This story was a young, a, a, a young girl and she was in this family, praise God. And as she grew up, bless the Lord, she was in a big family and as she grew up, she had a, a lot of cousins that would come round and see her as well. But one of the cousins used to say to her, you are not one of the family because you don't look like her. And they kept saying it to this woman every single time they came to visit at the house. Parents didn't know about this, but the cousin kept saying it to her. You're not one of the family because you don't look like her. You're somebody else. So the thing is, right, this child grew up thinking that, they, that the parents that they have originally is not theirs. So because of the cousin kept saying that, and then eventually when the child grew up and then, then it was going to go away on holiday, they had to get their birth certificate. Then they realised that they were actually, the parents was their parent. And the thing about it is that through, before that pure process, she began to look for her adoptive parent. They, they're not existent, praise God. She began to look for her adoptive parents 
And then eventually, praise God, and as she got older and she could face this person, a cousin, she said to the cousin, why did you say that I'm not a part of the family, I don't look like them? And you know what he did? He just laughed. I said, I, I didn't think you was gonna. Uh, 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 I didn't think you were going to think it was real. But he kept saying it constantly, constantly. You don't look like them. You don't fit like them. So obviously, the person will grow up thinking that. And what I want to say to you, praise God, this is real. I'm not making up a story. It's real. But you, maybe you can guess who it is. I don't know. Praise God. But what I'm gonna say to everybody is that. Just remember, praise God, that we are all one. The Bible says that we are of one body. Praise God. And if the and, and we are made up of different members of the body. So even if you think that that person does not fit, they are still the body of Christ. Bless the Lord. Even if you feel that you don't love that person in NGC, they are still the body of Christ. If you feel that you don't want to talk to that person, they are still the body of Christ. If you feel that you want to criticize the sister for doing something completely different to what you want to do, praise God, they are still the body of Christ because we are one body, praise God. So if the one of my finger is hurting me so much, one of my members is hurting me so much, I am going to feel it. Praise God. If I don't feel it, that means that I am separated from the body of Christ. You are separated. Bless the Lord. Praise God. So, God reminded me that we are one in Christ. Whether you like it or not, whether you like the brother's attitude or not, whether you like the sister's attitude or not, we are one body of Christ. Praise God. Because this is how God has made us. Praise God. He has brought us from different nations, different nationality, different people, different upbringing, but we are still one body. Praise God. And the thing about it is, it reminds me, praise God, that if something, praise God, is happening in the house of God, I am going to support my body, praise God. I'm not going to let it just hang and drag it, praise God. If a brother or a sister is suffering because they are one and part of God, praise God, I am still going to support that person, praise God. I'm not going to say they don't fit in NGC, praise God. What is your makeup of NGC? For me, it's our God has made it. Bless the Lord, praise God. This is NGC, praise God. It's how God has made it to be. Whether you agree with the leadership, praise God, and when the decisions that they make, you are still the body of Christ. Praise God. All I was saying Praise God. Rather than criticize and say, I'm not going to support that person. I'm not going to support that sister. Pray, pray for them. Bless the Lord. Talk to them. Yeah. You know, the good thing, praise God, about talking is that you bring out things, issues that's, that need solving. Bless the Lord. And we women, one thing about women is that they love to talk. People used to say women love to talk. But get the woman that you have an issue with to try and get her to talk, she will not talk. She will not bring it out. Praise God. And the thing about women is that they love to harbor. They harbor and harbor and harbor until they break. And then you see the body and you're wondering what's wrong. Because they didn't talk about the issue in the first place. Praise God. Remember, bless the Lord, we are of one body. Have you worked out yet who the woman is? Praise God. That I had to face that problem for so long until they realized that their parents was the actual parent that was mothering them and supporting them. 
praise God. So I will say to you, praise God, today, be careful. Praise God. Be careful for nothing. Bless the Lord, as the word of God said. Praise God, I've got so many notes here, I'm not even touch some of them. Bless the Lord. But what I will say to everyone is, rather than trying to fit in as a woman in the house of God, be a part of the house of God. Be a part of it. Be the solution. Bless the Lord. Don't be the person that break, tried to break it up. Be the solution. If you think that you can do something better than me, come and try it. I give you the floor. If you think that you can run a ministry better than the other person, talk to them about it, suggest it, work together. This is not, all the ministries in the house of God is not ours to keep. It's for us to grow and mature in and support others as well. Praise God. Do you think you can do it better? Come on, try. I give you the floor. Hallelujah. So one thing I would say, the last thing I would say, be a part. Not just fitting like you're a jigsaw and you just fit and that's it. But be a part like you're a clay that God can shape you. Bless the Lord. Be a part of the women, bless the Lord. Be a part of New Generation Church, bless the Lord. There's so much I want to say, but all I can say is that time has gone. And I just want to bless you all and thank you all for everything that you have done. Praise God. I know oftentimes times we don't get the pat on the back that we want. But remember, we're doing it to God. Bless the Lord. I remember Pastor Ferrell used to be so hard with us. And she used to, she never used to pat us in there. She never used to say, yeah, done. She never said, well, then you've done it good. She never said anything like that. She used to just say, go on. <laughs> That's it. I remember one sister, praise God, I don't know if she remembers, she was doing something and she worked on the report the whole night. Praise God. And she brought it to London to do, to read, and then Pastor Anthony, and he was right. She worked on it all night, she had to cry. And I thought, and Pastor Wendy showed no remorse whatsoever. She wants you to just get on with it. So if you think that we're hard, try Pastor Wendy. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Try her. Because we're not even that hard. Bless the Lord. So be a part of the work of God. Find something to do. Bless the Lord. The devil gives work for idle hands. Bless the Lord. So find a work, a part in your church, not just in NGC. If you're coming from another church, in your church. And you know, one thing that I did when I first got saved, I did the Sunday school, I cleaned the church, praise God, I did the ushering, I did the offering, I did the writing up the baptism certificate, I was doing everything, praise God, until I found out from God what my ministry was and where I should fit in, praise God. Like Reverend Sharon said, Bless the Lord. Sometimes you can put on an armour that doesn't fit you. Praise God. And sometimes, praise God, we try to put on things that are not suited for us. But we want to keep it because we like it rather than giving it to somebody else. That suits them. Praise God. So just remember, praise God, that we are one body. Praise God. We are different members from different parts of our body. But we are still one. Look out for one another and pray for one another. This is what Jesus would require from us all. Look out for one another and pray for one another. God bless you. Praise God.